unboxing um, our books on sale starting January 12th, 2021. They are distributed by Penguin Random House, but I believe all these books are from Canada Press and its other subsidiaries. Okay, so let's get started. So there's just a, there's a few, there's like four. So the first one is this board book, Sing Along With Me, Five Little Ducks, illustrated by Yu Xuan Huang by Nosy Crow, which is an imprint. And so Five Little Ducks um, is a song. Here we go. And this is sort of a pull-out tab interactive um, version um, that also um, supports numeracy about, you know, teaching kids about numbers. And oh, there's also a slider. So there's pull-outs and there's sliders. So it makes it um, really fun and sort of the right sturdiness. Oh, so this one goes sideways. So, you know, this is really good for fine motor and also it's just super fun. And it's, it's sort of um, sturdy, you know, it's like, it's definitely great for toddlers and preschoolers um, and even wee little ones to, um, because they don't need to be careful. That book will, hit, oh, that book will um, stand up to uh, a lot of little finger interactivity. Um, this next book is So You Want to Be an Owl, Everything There Is to Know About Owls by Jane Porter, illustrated by Maddie Frost. So already sounds like it either go in the humor way, which I think it is, or it could be a little bit of, you know, nonfiction about owls. But I have a feeling it's this book is funny. And so this is about owl school. Professor Olaf Owl is here to teach you everything you know about owls from hatching to hunting to seeing in the dark um, so that you can be a, uh, an owl. And so maybe it's a little bit of both. Is it meant to be funny? No, I actually think this is more informational. But, and I, what do they call that? Um, narrative nonfiction. And so, yeah, it's a clever way to get kids engaged and to learn about owls. And the illustrations kind of make it more fun. Like definitely, um, you know, more cartoony and more, um, you know, sort of friendly versus like photographs, you know. And so, yeah, it's a, I think it's a nice way to teach kids about owls. And um, my, my kids would like that book when they were little. The next one is Bedtime for Albie by Sophie Ambrose. And it looks like it's warthogs and a bedtime story. And it's on the savannah. Albie, the baby warthog, does not want to go to sleep. Um, so, you know, it kind of reminds me of, um, you know, that favorite Disney movie that my kids are freaking obsessed with, even now as uh, teenagers and 20-somethings. They still love um, The Lion King. And, they, you know, they've watched like, every version of it from the hyper-realistic animation to like all the little side ones, um, you know, like, uh, you know, Pumbaa and, T you know, all, they watched, they've watched them all multiple times um, and they st still enjoy it. And so this kind of gives me a Lion King vibe. Um, so yeah, I think they're, I think they're going to do another Lion King movie. It's coming out. And so kids who like that, here's another way to, uh, engage them with books because honestly the books attached to the movie are never that good and this looks this looks fun a bedtime story with you learn about animals it's a savannah and kind of a sweet you know mother child um bedtime procrastination book which i think we can all relate to especially those of us who have kids who are night owls and the last book is Wakey Birds, Will They Ever Sleep by Maddie Frost. And so it looks like 
You know, it could be similar to the Owl book, um, where it's narrative nonfiction and it's, um, you know, sort of very friendly illustrations, um, but there's a lot of uh, facts and information that makes it sort of nonfiction-y. Um, or this could just be just more of a fun story. But um, Reiki Bird. Um, they don't fall asleep. So it's another like, you know, bedtime-ish story. But let's see, is it more just about sort of nonfiction element to it? Or is it just more about trying to go to sleep at night? Yeah, it's not really nonfiction. It's more about, um, I think, uh, going, being awake when everyone else is asleep and um, trying to get this little, little guy to sleep. Um, so another way past my bedtime story. Um, yeah, so there's uh, multiple bedtime books here. Um, so here you have these, these guys which is a pairing, um, and then, you know, three books with bird related. So anyway, these books again are out January 12th, and thank you to Candlebook Press for sending them to me.